We get them all the time on the supermarket shelves or our local shops, packets of milk or fruit juice. But what appears useful at first can quickly turn out to be a pollutant when tossed aside carelessly. While we can't avoid the use of these products and the resultant waste from the packaging, managing the waste is not a problem unique to Kenya. Tetra Pak cartons are not easily recyclable as they contain plastic, aluminium foils and paper and they choke the environment by releasing greenhouse gases into the atmosphere if improperly disposed, as they are non-biodegradable. However, a group in Nairobi demonstrates that we can get rid of the menace while making money at the same time. Through recycling Tetra Packs, Ecotech transforms these mounds of household and factory waste into hardboard that can be used for housing. The, the raw material is mainly Tetra Pak waste, uh, factory waste and a small part uh, post-consumer waste, but also waste from other packaging industries. First, the waste material is shredded into small pieces and mixed in this machine, and this is to ensure that the end material is heavy enough. After mixing, it is stored into this tank awaiting preparation. During preparation, the small pieces are laid here. The quantity depends on the width of the board you want to make. After laying, it is pressed together under high temperatures of up to 300 degrees. Once it is pressed together, it is cooled to contract at very low temperatures. The finished board is now trimmed to size. The pieces that fall off are also recycled. These board pieces are now ready for construction. It is different kind of laminates. And uh, these laminates is not easily recycled. So we take waste that is normally going, either is burnt or it is going to Dandora for landfill. The finished boards are strong and durable. This office is partly made of them. They can be used on the outside and the interiors for decoration. The thick boards are used on the walls and floors. The thinner ones are more appropriate for the ceiling. This kitchen cabinet is also made from the boards. Ecotech have also been toying with the idea of making desks that can be used in schools. These are just samples. Not only are the boards resistant to moisture, but they are also non-brittle, making them ideal for construction. Also, use of such boards means a minimized use of timber, thus saving our depleted forests. Tetra Pak Limited, the company behind the manufacture of Tetra Pak products, intends to set up a collection center for the household products for recycling. In the meantime, households that use these products are encouraged to separate the waste in terms of organic and non-organic waste for easier collection and recycling. We still don't have that much. We're collecting about maximum of about two tons a month. I think it's also because people out there don't know that Tetra Pak cartons are recyclable. Management of solid waste from our homes and from factories has for a long time been a challenge. However, such an investment in the protection and conservation of the environment is a clear indication that the waste we produce shouldn't be such a waste. Sheila Sendeo for EcoScan.